Welcome to Mimaki's Ratchet Link 6 tutorial series. In this short video, I will show you how to set up a large image tiling. Tiling is, is a useful function when you are trying to print an image larger than the printer or to ease the application of the print. In this tutorial, we will be setting up this file for application on a trailer by splitting an image into four segments. Let's begin with selecting the image and opening the tiling menu. The tiling button has a graphic of a printer and three red segment columns. To open the tiling menu, select the tiling edit option. In the preview on the right, you will notice arrows and markers. These are automatic segments based on the width of your printer. There are also blue numbers on the top and the side. They represent the width and height of each segment. In the image edit portion of the menu, you can scale the image rotate it, or reverse print it for a second surface image. This image is the final print size at 120 by 48 inches. In the work options, you can crop the image by identifying the final output size and then by adjusting the lower right hand corner. The print area will be identified by the red square on the preview image. The whole image button resets the print area to the original size. The next section is Divide Tile. Here you can adjust the tile segments three different ways. In the first option, you can specify the size of each segment that you would like to work with. It will provide as many segments that can be accommodated at that size and, if necessary, provide a tile with the remainder. With the Tile Quantity option, you can select the amount of tiles to work with and it will divide them evenly into the amount of your selection. With the resize option, you can edit the size of individual tiles. For example, if you want the division to occur in available white space area, instead of cutting the image, you can select the tile by selecting the left or right and top or bottom buttons to highlight the tile you want and adjust its size. The selected tile is indicated by the highlighted size in the blue box. You also have the option of selecting individual lines and dragging them directly by the purple marker arrows. Please note, the remainder of the adjustment will be applied to the top and leftmost tile. Once the divisions are where you like, you can create overlaps to avoid any gaps when applying the tiles. You also have the option of printing corner guides with the print corner marks and overlap lines if you prefer a line all the way through the image. They can be printed very lightly to avoid being able to see them from a distance. Under Print option, you can elect to print the tile number on any edge outside of the printed image. If you are printing an overlap area, you can select the print tile number on the overlap to print the number within that print area. The order will start where you select it below. W1 is at first in the width direction and H1 is at first in the height direction. You can also print a cut line. If printing an overlap line, be sure to distinguish the line from the overlap line. You can do this by changing the print color or editing the dash line. And lastly, you can reorganize the print order setting of each tile in the print order options. This can be done by selecting the Z charts with the print flow arrow. First I'm going to change the image to reflect the project again by selecting four columns with one row. You can also select your own order by selecting Selected Tiles. Then select Clear Order to clear any existing order. Then in the preview area, select each tile in the order you would like to print. It is very important to note that only the tiles you select will print. This is also how you isolate one tile to reprint if you need. 
In this case, I have selected to reprint only the third tile. You can verify this on the Layout tab. Select the Z chart for this example, so the print order is from left to right. Once you have decided the tile size and printing order, you can move on to the Layout and Positioning options in the Layout tab. The first option is Reverse Even Numbered Column. When selected, you will notice that alternating images are flipped. This is a useful tool for printers that may have a slight color shift from one edge to the other. Unevenly coded media can cause this, as well as uneven carrying. So the reversing of every other tile will allow you to have color matched edges. I will simulate what this looks like with an animation. I will be exaggerating the color shift with a dark gradient on the right side of both prints. This exaggerated color shift shows that even if not ideal, you can hide color shifts from standing out by flipping every other tile during printing. You can see that with the same color shift in both prints, by flipping every other tile, I am able to reduce the negative effect of the color shifted print. The free location option lets you control your own spacing by typing in or clicking and dragging the tile directly. or you can enter a specific spacing value below the selected tile. You also have automatic centering available. You are now ready to print. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on the tiling function. Please be sure to watch our other videos and provide any feedback.